Hey, beautiful soul, and welcome to our weekly reading for the week of Monday, August 9th through Sunday, August 15th. Okay, let's check out our potentials for this week. And if you're not already a member of my Joy's Soul Spa private Facebook group, head on over. Um, we support each other and talk about intuition and all the woo-woo stuff. And I would love to have you if you're not already a member. And if you are, hey guys. Um, okay, so let's get into this week. So Nine of Swords is, is a tough card. Now, this can mean one of two things. So for some people, you're really going through it. You're, you, there's tough stuff going on. You're losing sleep over it. There's something big going on in your, um, in your life. It could be about yourself. It could be something you're struggling with, or it could be about someone in your life and something they're struggling with. And for others of us, uh, the struggle's not real and we're making it up not making it up, but we're making it worse than it is by putting our thoughts to it, by letting ourselves, you know, repeat things in our head that aren't serving us, that aren't helping us. We're in a space of anxiety and stress, and we're bringing it on ourselves um, by focusing on the wrong thing. I don't love to say wrong, but focusing on something that's not helping, but that's just reaffirming something that's causing us anxiety. So where you are on the side of that coin is only you will know. Is there something really actually big and pivotal and important going on in your life that you're losing sleep over? Or is it something that really is kind of a smaller thing and we're making a mountain out of a molehill, if you will, and we're causing ourselves sleepless nights? So either is possible with this card. Let's see the rest of the, the, rest of the, the guidance this week. Now, it's interesting because last week we were in that soulmate, you know, relationship space and we're seeing again the two of cups, which is two people coming together to share their emotion, to share, you know, to collaborate in some way. It doesn't necessarily mean romantic. It could mean friendship. It could mean business. It could mean, you know, in any area that you would collaborate with another person. Uh, but as it relates to these sleepless nights, for me, it's a reminder of we don't have to go it alone. So whether the situation is large or small, we don't have to go it alone. We have friends, we have support. You can come into the Soul Spa group and we will support you through whatever you're going through. Um, but you don't have to go it alone is, is what I want to say. Uh, and the Nine of Pentacles, you know, for some of us, this challenge might be stressing us out into our finances as well. You know, maybe it's a health challenge and it's really costing a lot of money or a lot of resources or feeling like we're, you know, it's draining our abundance, for example. That's just one example. Um, but there's hundreds of ways this could apply. Uh, but just taking a pause. So the other, the other thing with this is, you know, if this is a big challenge and we're losing sleep and it's not just something that we're kind of making up in our head, don't be afraid to take a pause is what I want to say. A pause in action around your work, around your abundance, around that really push, push, push forward and just taking taking a minute. Doesn't mean you have to take a week off if you can't do that, but taking an hour to just breathe, to pause, to give yourself a break. Um, Self-care certainly is indicated with this, uh, you know, going into meditation, doing cleansing baths, whatever it is that relaxes you. Maybe it's hitting golf balls. Maybe it's going for a walk. Maybe it's, you know, doing a spiritual bath for yourself. Whatever self-care is for you that will help you release some of this anxiety because the anxiety doesn't allow us to see clearly. Um, so yeah, and that's where having a friend or someone that you trust or someone that you want to collaborate with uh, is helpful because sometimes they can see through that anxiety and just reason with us, rationalize with us. Um, so yes, lean on your friends this week if you need to, even if it's something small that you're just feeling stressed out about, you're feeling anxious with, maybe there's something going on with your work and you're, you know, just, just having some stress about it. Phone a friend, guys. Like you don't have to be alone through whatever this is that you're losing sleep over this week. Ah, throat chakra is the healing. This is obviously the throat, which is here. Um, and this is about speaking out for ourselves, standing in our power, sharing what's going on, uh, communication certainly in all of its forms. So can you communicate some of this to someone else? And maybe it's communicating to yourself. Maybe it's journaling and really just letting it out in that way. But again, I'm back to, you know, a friendship, a partnership, 
uh, a collaboration. You know, for some of you or for some of us, maybe it's finding a therapist or a counselor to talk to and being in collaboration about speaking what's on our heart so we can release some of this stress and anxiety. And so we can be more in abundance and be more rested, you know, trusting that we are abundant and that things are okay and that we're going to get through this. Um, so really just sharing your truth this week and areas that it's safe and advisable to do that uh, will I think help you release some of this worry that's going on and don't be afraid to reach out for help guys uh, because of the work that I do with you know psychic readings and mediumship readings there are so many times when I'm bringing through a spirit person who needed help and didn't reach out for it so if you need help in any capacity whether it's just someone to talk to or whether you're you know in in a depressed or um, down mental health state and you need some support or whether there's you know an addiction going on or whether you're worried about someone else in your life reach out you don't need to go through this alone okay so what is the guidance originality blaze your own trail the world needs you just as you are it needs the struggles that you've been through it needs the way you came through them it needs your success you are unique and you can help someone else so whatever this is that you're worried about and anxious about whether it's a big thing or a small thing i guarantee you other people have gone through it there are others that you can assist at some point with what you've gone through but there are others for you to lean on that have gone through maybe not the exact thing but certainly a similar emotion even if it's in a different area of their life so we need you to be your original self to speak your own original truth through your eyes through your experience there's only one of you and that is by design for a reason blaze your own trail so yeah if what you're worried about is you know hiding hiding something about you hiding something about your individuality not feeling like you can speak out for yourself uh, this is really just an encouragement and a guidance to do just that um, you know, we want you to step into that space of, of dancing and happiness and, and just marching to your own, uh, your own beat and showing up as your authentic self to be loved and accepted by the friends in your life. And you might actually be surprised because if you do reach out and share what's on your heart or what's causing you this anxiety, these sleepless nights, you might be surprised by some of your friends, some of the people in your space to know how much they really value your thoughts, your individuality, your uh, own expression. So don't don't shy away from that this week, you guys. Um, and maybe it's someone in your space that's going through something that you might not have given them the opportunity to share or you might be a listening um, you know, a, a safe listening person for someone else. So is is this in relation to someone in your space that's really struggling, that's going through a tough time? And you guys, if you get that nudge on your heart to reach out to someone in your life, um, like as far as a friend that you feel like, I don't know, I, I just want to make sure they're okay. I just want to let them know I care about them. Don't hesitate to do that this week because maybe, maybe someone you care about or someone in your space has something going on and maybe you can be that partnership, that collaboration, that friend for them to encourage encourage them to speak their truth and step into their own individuality. <laughs> um, so either way, I am here for you guys this week and drop me a little moon because I think we're really, you know, going within this week into a more uh, needing to be in our intuitive space, but needing that connection as well. Um, so and we have just, you know, as you guys know, we are in that new moon phase. So drop us a moon below and I look forward to seeing you guys next week and I am sending you so much love. Have a great week.